Let's get started with stitching. The first thing you're going to need is thread. I have two different kinds. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, they're both the same. Unwind the thread. You're going to take the end of the thread, pull it, and then stretch it until you reach your shoulder. That's the length of the thread that you want. Pinch and then pull that away from yourself before you cut. When you're finished with the thread, please be kind and rewind before putting it back. You'll need thread, a needle, and a needle threader. To thread your needle, you'll need a small folded piece of paper that needs to fit through what's called the eye of the needle. Unfold that paper, I like to call it a hot dog bun, and place your string, which I'll refer to as a hot dog, inside the bun. Make sure none is sticking out. Next, place that folded piece of paper or hot dog bun inside the eye of the needle. Keep it pinched as you pull it all the way through. Take the paper off and now your needle is threaded. On the opposite end of the thread, you're going to need to tie a knot. To do that, make the letter U, then create the letter O. Take the tail that you see at the top, fold it around, put it inside the O, and pull. When I do that, notice that my left hand stays still while my right hand moves the needle to the end of the string. I like to do a double knot, so let's repeat the process. Make the letter U, then make an O, take the tail that's at the top, flip it around, put it in the hole, and pull. Once again, my left hand stays still while my right hand tries to move the knot down so it lands on top of the first knot, creating a double knot. Before sewing two pieces of fabric together, it's important to pin them together so they don't move around as you're sewing. These are called pins, just like the needle. Be careful because they're sharp. You're going to take a pin, push it through both pieces of fabric, then lay the needle down as you bend the fabric to push the needle through. There, now both pieces of fabric are pinned together. Let me try that again. I'll do the opposite side. Push the pin through both pieces of fabric, fold it back, and push it through. Now, both of my pieces of fabric are pinned together and I'm ready to stitch. Pick up your needle and you'll wanna pinch it by the eye as you find the back side of the fabric, push the needle through, move your hand to the front and pull the needle through, making sure to pinch the eye as you do and pulling it until the knot, which is like an anchor, stops it. I'm going to be doing something called a whip stitch. A whip stitch goes around the fabric Notice how my needle always comes up. Notice how I'm making sure that the needle goes through both pieces of fabric because my goal is to stitch the two pieces of fabric together. The reason I pinch the eye is so that the thread doesn't fall out. If the thread does fall out of my needle, it's an easy fix. I just grab my needle threader, put my thread inside, slide it through the eye of the needle, and I have my needle threaded again, and I'm back on track. If it does keep sliding out, you could always tie a knot to anchor the needle to the thread. You can tie a knot the same way you did at the end of the thread, but do a single knot. That way, it's easy for you to get the knot out when you are finished stitching. All right, now I can resume doing the whip stitch, going around both pieces of fabric, making sure my needle goes through both pieces of fabric. When you get to a corner, you don't have to stop. You just simply rotate the fabric and continue stitching. That will connect both pieces of fabric at the corner. If you're creating something that's going to be stuffed, like a pillow or a stuffy, you'll wanna make sure that your stitches are even and close together. Any large stitches or any big gaps could cause stuffing to come out. So make sure to keep your stitches nice and even. When you come to a place where your thread is about as long as your hand, it's time to get new thread. But you can't just cut the thread and get new thread, it will come unraveled. You need to tie a knot. Do that by sliding your needle underneath your last stitch, pull, turn your needle around, and go inside the loop. Here's a little story I like to tell to help myself remember. This is an airplane. It's picking up a passenger. The airplane leaves the airport and oh my goodness, we forgot a passenger. Do a U-turn in the air, swing back around and pick up Captain Loop. That's your passenger or is he a captain? That could be a problem. Who's flying this plane? Now that I'm finished, go ahead and cut the thread off. Remove the old thread from the needle 
and re-thread your needle to restart. In this project, you're going to be turning your pillow inside out to stuff it. So if you're not happy with your stitches, if you think they look a little bit uneven, don't worry about it. They will for the most part be hidden when we turn your pillow or stuffy inside out. If you don't plan on uh, flipping it inside out, you'll wanna make sure you have nice and even stitches so that they look nice when people see the stitches on whatever it is you're creating. Whenever you're finished stitching, it's important to anchor your needle until next time. That means you've put it in your fabric just like you do a pin. When you get ready to take it out, pull it backward, not forward. If you pull it forward, you'll end up creating a stitch. Have fun, friends, and let's get started.